Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a game of Twilight 2000, uh, Free League Press's uh, fourth edition of Twilight 2000. So, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, thank you for everything, and thank you for coming by and watching me play. Uh, so, I don't know if you've been watching, but where we left our team last time was we were running short on food. Uh, and so, whilst uh, continuing to travel uh, west, uh, we came across a small farmhouse uh, with a barn. Uh, uh, it was only two buildings with a barbed wire around that side. After uh, staff set an observation post, an OP, uh, he saw that they uh, had stuff going on inside. Uh, we uh, determined that they were marauders and decided that in the middle of the night we would hit it and grab what food we could. We also managed to get away with the radio. Uh, I decided, it, and if you've got the books, you'll have to look it up. It's the R392A, has about five kilometers radius, which is about one hex, uh, and is a small radio, so it's a weight of one. I can't remember the cost, I didn't write that down. Uh, but so we'll be able to start uh, doing the scan radio scanning as a task, uh, but uh, we got into a bit of a scrap. Uh, staff got into a bit of a scrap with one of the marauders, uh, and also staff was injured when uh, getting in through barbed wire, so staff is a bit cut up. Uh, the, so uh, Doc, who was waiting outside, I forgot that Doc at the, actually the entire time, it was only afterwards. Uh, so he would have only heard one shot of uh, Jane's M16 and there was a, a gunshot from a shotgun. Uh, so he didn't engage by lobbing the grenade, which is what he's supposed to do as a distraction. So they all would have got back to uh, the camp and this is where we will join them uh, in their camp. Uh, and so they would have got back and I think the first thing that they probably would have done, actually I the first thing they would do is that Doc would see to uh, staff's wounds because if Doc doesn't see to staff's wounds, then there's a possibility that it can become uh, septic. So whenever someone takes injuries uh, according to the rules, uh, if they aren't uh, dealt with within a shift, there's a percentage chance that the wound becomes septic. So the first thing we'll do is we will get Doc to treat uh, uh, staff's wounds and then they will uh, make a decision, probably. But we'll, we'll do that first, okay? So let me just look that up. So, uh, we are running short on medical kits. That is something, so I had a look, I was doing a little bit of an audit. Uh, we're quite low on ammunition, we're quite low on medical kits. Somebody is gonna have to go and fill up, we've got nine empty water containers because we've consumed nine uh, lots of water. So someone's gonna have to refill that. But I think uh, uh, Doc will utilize one of the med kits. Now I can't remember what plus you get for med kits. So hold on, I'll quickly look that up. You get a plus one. So, I mean, Doc might not use it, uh, so Doc has, because they are running short, it is just scratches from barbed wire. So it's not majorly needing to healing, it just needs to be cleaned up. So maybe Doc will just clean that up. So uh, they'll get back, so they're back at base. Uh, all right, Doc, are you gonna, all right? All right, Doc, uh, have a look at this, would you? I've caught myself. Uh, and then as Doc's doing that, uh, uh, staff might start to, like, so he's, maybe he's torn his, his tunic. So Doc has a D12 and a D10 for medical aid. Uh, for each hit, he will heal one hit point. Uh, one hit, one hit's enough. So uh, staff heals one hit point. Uh, so that means that staff is three, three down from five. So staff is gonna need to rest. Julian is one down from five, so Julian will have to rest. Uh, all right, so we were on the 22nd and that was the night shift. Uh, so that's the end of the night. So then we would go into the 23rd of April, uh, where we have our morning. Let's see whether the weather gets better or not. Uh, stays the same, so we're still foggy on the 23rd of April. Now let me have a look at historically, what do we have? Yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's damp and foggy until the 26th, 27th of April. So the morning, we have fog, 
Now, what shall we get everyone to do for the morning? I think staff is going to have to sleep. Which means we'll have Jane keep watch. Uh, and probably we will have the doctor sleeping in the morning. So I think they're going to all decide. So before that happens, I, I, I think, all right, uh, that was a good hit. You did good work there, love. You did really good. Don't, don't you, look, love, you did good work. That was a, a blinding shot of the dude in the window, the geezer in the window. You took his noggin out like right, no one's business. Nice work there. But I'm freaking knackered now. So I've got to do some resting. I've got to do some sleeping. Doc, I'm going to ask you to sleep as well because we need to refill our water. And so I'm going to ask you in a bit to go fill up water. Jane, love. Keep watch. I know you're tired. You did a grand job. Keep watch, and then you can have a kip afterwards. All right? Yes, Staff Sergeant. Okay, that's it for now. If anyone comes looking for us and they're bound to come looking for us, we knocked off two of their geezers. They're going to want to come looking for us. We stabbed up that bird, and then you did for the dude. So whatever they're go they're going to come looking for us. If they do, we might have to have a stand-up fight here. All right? So just get prepped. Make sure. Everything's clean, everything's working, everything's functional. Right, lay out some stuff. It's a good camp we've got, but you never know what's going to happen next. So they will then, so we'll have, Jane will watch. I mean, the camp's good. I don't know if you remember, but the camp had was a three-hit camp, so it's a good camp. Uh, and it was two hits for, for it being hidden. So that's good. So next we'll roll. So it's still foggy. So we'll give, so Foggy I think is a minus two. Uh, so it's daytime, no, Fog is a minus one. So Jane will have a minus one. So we'll do Jane's, Jane's recon, which is D8, 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 and we'll drop the D8 to a D6 because of the Fog. Uh, actually, it's morning. Actually, I'll do this and then we'll do some experience because I said every morning. So then we'll do experience for the day before. But first I'll do this. First I'll do her watch. Nothing. That's not great. Particularly if they come looking for her. Well, then. Okay, so let's do experience. Uh, we don't do that one. So we have... Did you follow me or code despite risk of yourself or your group? Killing the enemy is my job, so I'll do it. So yes, uh, staff did, one. Uh, Julian, making the world a better place is the only way to save your soul. Okay, I'm gonna say for Jane, yes, she gets one for that, because they were marauders and she did go in and, and help uh, secure the area. Uh, I don't know if the big dream got got significantly dealt with. Did they travel through at least one hex on the map? Yes, they did. They traveled one hex across and down. So we'll give them all one for that. And did they overcome one or more dangerous events for using violent? Yes. So we will give, I'm even going to give uh, Julian one for that because Julian was part, even though he was outside, he was part of it. And finally, it says, did you risk your life for the PC? Here is your buddy. Now, no, but I am going to give Jane an extra one because Jane did climb in through the window and basically save staff, meaning that Jane gets four, uh, Doc gets two, and staff gets three, which gives staff a total of four and a running total of nine, uh, a seven and a two. And that gives, uh, Jane has a total of 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly do some erasing and I'll look up what Jane can spend her 10 on and I'll be back. So Jane is gonna spend 10 points because it takes 10 points to take a D to a C. So basically it's five points to get a D 10 points to get a C, 15 to get a B, 
20 to get an A. So the two things I was thinking is taking, so she could save the 10 to get another five to take the recon from a C to a B. That would be useful. But also her close combat was only a D. So taking the D to a C might be more useful because of that situation. I don't know if you remember, but Staff was having a lot of trouble to try and get his knife into, into that Marauder. So, uh, let's see what our encounter is. Uh, I mean, if they get, oh, we'll see, we'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. So what have we got? We have, uh, also we've got a road, day or night. So that, we're, we're out in the wilderness. What I thought was, actually I'll grab the map and I'll just quickly show, show you where I think I was. So I'm thinking that we're probably somewhere uh, probably somewhere up near these these in this wooded area up here and I'm thinking that the place we hit is probably just off the road down around here uh, so we're up there so our first shift our day shift we didn't have no no issues uh, staff slept and uh, Jane watched and uh, doc slept so what next we have our uh, so two we have our day shift uh, let's see how uh, the weather has changed. Oh, the weather gets work. Okay, so what we'll say is it started to it started to rain. Uh, oh, I did. Well, there's one thing that I forgot. I don't think I've ever said that. Uh, I, I've not been doing this, but those people who sleep before the camp is set up, we need to do a stamina roll, or they don't get any sleep. So we might like we could give them a bonus for certain situations, but if they uh, try to sleep before camp is set up and fail their stamina, they get no sleep. So we've got rain, so then let's have staff, then we've got Jane, and then we've got Doc. So we're going to send Doc to get water, which is a foraging roll. We will have staff will stay back at the camp and keep watch, uh, and Jane is going to sleep. This uh, will mean they all get to recover. Now because uh, staff and Doc slept, they both recover one hit point. Uh, so staff is still down by two, which means we're still gonna wanna have staff do at least two more resting. So first off, we'll roll staff's watch. So staff has, staff really, really need to hold on staff to get tech. Staff has a D12 for intelligence and a D10 for, uh, for recon. It's raining, so we will uh, I don't know, let's say it's foggy, Fog, does, does, it, does it rain when it fogs? I can't remember, I've not been in proper fog for ages. Uh, let's give him minus one anyway. So we'll drop the D12 to a D10, so give him two D10s. Uh, this is this is staff's watch. Uh, staff gets three hits. Wow, that's, that's, that's a good, good watch. Uh, then Jane is sleeping, now Doc going to get uh, water is a survival roll. Now Doc has nothing for survival, but he has a D10 intelligence. Now we need one hit to fill up the water bottles. No, a foul, total foul. So what we're gonna have is we will say that because of the fog and the rain, <laughs> that Doc gets lost uh, and spends the five hours wandering around and comes back uh, with he's sort of filled up the water bottles but they decide that it's it's not worth it uh, and it's contaminated and then they have to throw it away so the the so the day the next shift which would be the oh encounter let's see maybe maybe doc stumbles upon something whilst, whilst he's out there What have we got? Uh, that, okay. So though this said, uh, this is, so there we go. This is buying and selling. It's uh, a diamond ace. Now, a small village. Okay, so, hmm. Potentially, this may be that Doc stumbles upon uh, the Marauders out. That makes sense. Okay, let's see, let's see what we get. Uh, oh, 
Okay, if this is, if this is, I mean half and half and 50-50 wanting this to be the Marauders and then I'll set up a little, oh, I've got a good idea. The Marauders stumbled upon, stumble upon uh, Doc. Uh, oh, they could take Doc Capture. Oh no, that might get messy. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, club, which is negative, isn't it? So club is a negative. So we've got a queen of clubs. Uh, queen of clubs is, where are we? We want, help from hazards, uh, a black suit, queen, very dangerous. Okay, all right, so that's what we'll have. So, uh, uh, Doc got lost in the fog and the rain. Uh, he's wandering around in the fog and rain, uh, got lost and stumbled upon, uh, stumbled upon the marauders or they stumbled upon him. So let's roll. Let's roll, Doc is out there. Uh, uh, so, Doc is out there, and uh, Doc's gone off to try and find, and he's been stumbled, so that's a recon, isn't it? So let's see if Doc can see. So Doc's got a D10 uh, and a D6, and then they will be, can they're marauders, I've got this little thing I've laminated, which, uh, so Marauders have a C, which is a D8, and a Recon, which is, so they have a D8 and a D6. So they have a D8 and a D6, all right. So this is, this is Doc. Uh, did I drop it down by one? So I don't think I did, did I? So our D8, D10 will drop by D8 because it's raining. Uh, and our D8 will drop by to a D6, so I'll, I'll use that one afterwards because it's raining. Okay. I mean, they might not see each other. They might not see each other, but once, so what we'll do, oh, so what I might do is, I might do, do you remember what I did, uh, uh, like it was the skill challenge thing? So maybe we'll do a little one here and we'll see whether, what happens. So what we might do it as, is like a, 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 an opposed skill check, so whoever gets the most will get the most hits. So uh, we'll do like the first two, we'll give them a chance to dodge each other, but we definitely have the Marauders out there. So this is this is Doc. Uh, Doc gets no hits. Uh, this is the Marauders. The Marauders get a hit. So the Marauders have spotted Doc. So Doc on his way, uh, uh, on his way down to the water, the Marauders have spotted him. Uh, and this is this is the reason why he got no no water. We'll do it this way. So then Roll does spot him, Doc sees them, and then Doc is gonna to attempt to make his way back to camp as quickly as possible. Uh, he's not gonna open fire yet, uh, but we'll make it across. So if the, the Marauders win this next one, the Marauders get close enough, and then they will engage combat between them. Uh, and we will do, we'll set up a little table, and we'll have, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds whether to do a little bit of a, a theatre of the mind piece or just to set up some figures. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do theatre of the mind. If they get, if they, if they kill Julian, uh, I mean, if, we, if this goes on for too long, then uh, Staff is gonna, so Staff will then wake up Jane. So Staff has got three hits on his watch. So if Staff's got three hits on his watch, then Staff may have seen these people. So Staff might, might have seen these people in the, like, in his, because I didn't even use his binoculars for that watch, and he could have used his binoculars. So three hits. All right, so, yes, we'll save, we'll save, we'll save Julian. Julian being a, a Julian's never gonna, gonna be sent out scavenging again, because every time he's gone out getting water, he's failed this. So, what we'll do is, uh, the workings of a solo mind. Uh, what we're gonna do is, is Julian is out. Julian has stumbled upon the Nev spotted Julian. Uh, Julian is going to now get a chance to do a stamina roll and then a recon roll to get away. The stamina roll is because of the rain and because Julian might, might panic. The Marauders will get a recon roll to chase. If Julian fails, then they get to open fire on Julian. If Julian succeed, it succeeds, Julian gets close enough to camp that then staff will engage, I'll set up some terrain, and we will have a skirmish, which we didn't have last game, we'll have a skirmish. That's what we do. So, the Marauders have the advantage at the moment. 
if the Marauders, there we go, if the Marauders get two advantages, then the, the, then we're at camp and we'll have, or maybe even they get a shot on Julian. Let's give them a shot on Julian if they get two advantages, they get to shoot Julian. So Julian needs to do a stamina roll because it's raining, uh, which is a D6, D6. Uh, one hit, good old Julian. So Julian does get to run. Uh, now he gets to do his recon to see if he can dodge and dive. I'm going to let him keep his D8, D6, D10, D6 because of the because he's attempting to escape. So the rain is to his advantage. I'm not going to give him a plus. Should I give him plus? No, I'm not going to give him plus. He just gets to, to keep it. Uh, nothing. So they they clearly see him though he is running. Now they are going to attempt to spot him. Now if they spot him on this. I'm going to give them a shot because that gives them an advantage. If they don't spot him on this, so they don't get any hits on this, then they don't get a shot, but they still keep following. And so they are affected by the rain. So they have an intelligence of a C, which would be an eight, and they have a recon of a D, which is a six. So that will drop down to a six, six. So if they get one hit, even one hit, they can shoot him. Two hits. Okay. So they open fire. So now we need to know how many of them they are. Uh, what does this say? So this says uh, that there is one times PC guards in the daytime. So we are in the daytime and it's raining, so that means there are three of them. So we're going to say that there are three marauders, uh, and that's what we'll set up. Three marauders, and let's see what, what sort of weapons the marauders have. Marauders have... Uh, so I laminated the thing from the book. Uh, marauders have assault rifles, hunting rifles, or shotguns with one reload each uh, and a knife. Okay, so uh, they definitely had a shotgun. So one person will fire a shotgun and we will say they have an AK. An AK uh, because there'll be plenty of them around. So one will fire a burst with an AK-47 and one is going to fire a shotgun at, at uh, Julian as Julian attempts to get away. Now, what I'll do is I'm quickly going to grab the stats for that. Hold on. Okay, back. So, uh, the AK-47 has a rate of fire of five, a damage of two, a crit of three. So, we will do... So, uh, two of them are going to fire uh, at Julian, and one won't. So there's an AK-47 and maybe two shotguns or two AK-47. Let's, let, let's, let's ask the Oracle. Uh, so basically, if this is a red, it's a shotgun because that, that's less deadly. If this is a black, then there are two AK-47s because that's more deadly. So we have a red. So they have two shotguns. So there are two of these, two of these three have shotguns, and one has an AK-47. So we are back on it. We're back on it. We have they have an agility of C, which is a D8, and they have a rain combat of C, which is a D8. Now it is uh, they they did they have the advantage. So I'll say they are within one hex. It is a quick shot with no aim because uh, they're going to quickly shoot at him. They're not going to take time to aim, which is a quick shot. He's a minus two, which drops it to a D6, D6. Uh, and it is raining. And I think, does the, I think the rain affects them and gives them a minus one. But he's not in cover, so... Uh, but he is also running. He did do a successful stamina roll. Uh, see, I don't, I don't want him to get shot and killed. But equally, so I want to be fair. Uh, it's not heavy rain, it, but it, it's foggy as well. So I'm going to give him. Oh, let, well, there's two of them, isn't there? So I'm going to give, I'm going to give him a, a d6. So it's just going. All of this would knock it down to a d6. He gets hit. Uh, so, oh, actually, no, uh, this is the AK-47. He will just let off a burst, which is round of five, five, which would then give, uh, uh, so he fires off 10, 15 rounds. Uh, so one of them fires off 15 rounds, but Julian gets hit once, uh, taking, uh, in the 
torso. Uh, Julian has a flak vest on. So Julian gets hit in the back uh, in, with the torso, with his flak vest, uh, absorbing one damage, which means he takes one damage. Now, I didn't do this previously, because we forgot to do this before, but every time uh, the armor is pierced, we roll a d6, and if it isn't that, so it's okay, but if it had come up with the one, uh, the armor is knackered. So Julian takes a bullet to the back. Uh, he That means, because he's got hit, he takes one stress, I believe, automatically, because he's got hit, and he needs to make a thingy, doesn't he? He needs to make a cornice under fire check. Uh, he doesn't have the unit with him, but he does a cornice under fire, and his cornice under fire is a C, which is a D8. Uh, he gets a hit, so he's fine. So he gets shot, uh, but he's fine. And now the other dude, uh, who's with this, this is the guy with the shotgun, now he definitely is going to be on a D6. Sorry. I mean, I'll, maybe I'll bleep that. Uh, that would be interesting. I've never done that before. Uh, that means the shotgun hits. Okay, shotgun hits. Uh, all right, let's make, let's say the shotgun fires. Okay, so the shotgun uh, fires. So the shotgun uh, clears two rounds uh, and hits one hit, doing three points damage. Oh man! Oh no no, that's stuff. Oh, I thought Julian was down. Doing three points damage uh, in the. Torso again. Uh, so uh, taking one off means doing two points of damage. So then as Julian sort of struggles to his feet to move off, another blast hits him in the back. Now this means that Staff definitely hears this. Uh, all right, then I'm gonna set up the table after this. So Staff, so Julian has done, let's see if Julian's armorish. Uh, no, that just rolled off of that. Uh, so Julian's up flak vest, he's still okay. All right. Okay, I think what we will now do is we will now say that Julian is uh, is close to camp. We'll set up the table. Uh, I will try to use a different camera to be more like the skirmish games, and we will come back in a minute, and I'll see what I've put together. I'll try to I'll do some trees around near where the base is. I'll try and get some of my tent uh, uh, things just to mimic uh, the base, the camp with tents. Uh, and then we'll put some rocks and stuff so as we can do some maneuvering fire and I'll try and set it up like across the table or oh, you just see my hand uh, and then we'll see what happens okay I'll be back in a minute okay so I've, I've set the table up it took a while I don't know if it will quite work but we'll have a look and we'll have a go so I will probably switch from this to uh, the thing like I normally use with skirmish and we'll see how that works I might drop in between here and there uh, as I start looking things up and do things, and we might have some quite harsh cuts. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, might have some quite harsh cuts as I look up stuff, so, so we can do rolling. But I'll try and put it together so we can see. So let me show you. Let me show you the table. So we have. So what I've done is I've tried to set set this up. Uh, So let me show you from the top down, try to set this up, uh, and then I'll zoom in. So we've got uh, the Marauders coming from here, we have Julian just there, and we have our camp over in the trees over here. Uh, so what our intention would be is the Marauders have been chasing, Julian got shot when he was there, and staff is aware, and then Jane will be waking up. So the first thing we'll probably do, so I'll just, let's do it like this, so we can see what's going on. If I just leave that, like that for now. There we go, that should be a little bit of a view. And we will do initiatives. Uh, actually, if I, you can see me here uh, doing initiatives. So we'll do initiatives. So we'll have, uh, let's think, we'll do what we normally do where we will go. Uh, so that's the Marauders, uh, that's staff. That's Jane, and then we've got Doc. So Doc is going first, then the Marauders get to go, then we have Staff, and then we have Jane. So uh, let me just stick the stickers on. Hold on, I'll be back. 
So first we have doc. So doc being being over here. Uh, let me think. So he has been shot. He is injured. Uh, he is on. So he's he's taken three damage. He has one hit point left, and then he is going down, and he is out. So I think. Uh, as he goes first, his best manoeuvre may be he's going to get behind here as the closest thing, so he can easily do that. I mean, if we're saying that this is one measuring stick and where he could move, he cannot run to, to there. He could attempt to make a stamina roll, uh, but it is raining uh, to go first, so he's probably his best, his best option is to run into cover in his first bit, and then he might take a slow action... Can he do a slow action to heal himself? Uh, so I think he's going to do a slow action to take a med kit. So he does have he does have a med kit in his combat gear. So he can do first aid. Uh, victim incapacitated by damage. Victim incapacitated by stress. So that's if someone's. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna uh, apply first aid to himself. So he's gonna go around there and apply first aid to himself to give himself uh, a little bit of extra breathing space uh, in case he gets shot again. And then he can try and re-engage. He does have an AK-47 on him, so he is going to do a medical aid roll D12 D10. He's using the medical kit, so he gets two two D12s. Uh, no hits. Okay, so he's he's. Uh, He's stabilised, but he hasn't healed. We really needed that. So he got no hits. That's not great, but it means that he's at least, uh, he's not going to continue bleeding, And he's, but he has consumed uh, a medical kit uh, and got no hits out of it. No, nothing else I can do to help you. Sorry, Doc. Okay. So, Doc, now we have uh, the, the Marauders. Uh, they can move. So we would have, so they can't, so maybe one will come around over here behind this tree and he is going to fire the AK-47 and attempt to hit Doc. Uh, that would be, so it is raining, he has a range of C uh, and he has uh, agility of C, so that's a D8, D8. It's raining and Doc, we'll say, say that Doc is, so we'll go to a D6, uh, but Doc ran uh, to hide, so that's a D6, D6. So he is going to do a burst, he's going to empty uh, uh, the other half of the magazine probably. So he's going to attempt to shoot uh, Doc uh, with D6, D6 and this. Uh, so he gets... So what we've got, we've got one, two, so he, he clears 12 rounds and gets no hits. So he does a burst on Doc, 12 rounds, no hits. Uh, that's 27, he left to change magazine. Oh, and he also got the minus one because of, uh, sorry, I didn't show you that, did I? I forgot to do this bit. So he ran from there around to behind this tree, and then he attempts to shoot at Doc over here, uh, getting the, the thing he scored. Uh, because Doc ran, he got minus one, but also he didn't aim, so he should have got minus two, but it was a miss, miss anyway. Next geezer uh, will be uh, the guy with the shotgun. So the shotgun dude, maybe the shotgun dude will run up. So the shotgun dude, so they don't know the camp's over there. He's over there. So maybe the shotgun dude is going to run up, and then we'll get him to do uh, a... Uh, a, a re what is it? It's a stamina roll, isn't it, to, to keep running? Uh, and so his stamina roll would be his strength, which is a B, which is a D10. So he needs a hit on a D10. Uh, nope, so he ends there. Now, what he doesn't know is that guy is over there. Now, I would say he doesn't have a shot on Doc from there. Now, the other dude with a shotgun, who is this dude here, uh, maybe he'll run over this way. Maybe he is going to come around to... Because they don't know that, that Doc's running to a camp. So he's going to run up to here. And then he will make a stamina roll. 
and see if he can go round, he gets it. So he is gonna come round, he can run round to here and then doing that is his, what's that? That will be his fast action, won't it? Yep, yeah. and then he is gonna do a shot on Doc. Uh, he is gonna fire both clips, so that gives him, uh, let's put this down and I'll sit down and then you can see me. <coughs> uh, he will have that uh, and then he's got a D6 and a D6, it's a fast one, so it's just a D6, because it, it would be, it was a C, which is a D8. Uh, and then he had a, and another, what was the other one? D8, C, D8. Uh, it's raining, which drops it, but oh, he's in the same hex though. Now he's in the same hex, uh, which I think is plus one for being in the same hex. Let's go through this, shall we? It's a quick shot, so that's a minus two. S target active in the same hex. Okay, same hex is another minus two because he can dodge around, I guess. So that gives him a minus four. And then we've got the fog and stuff, but it's because it's close. I don't think there are any pluses, so I think this is a D6. So it goes down to a D6. Uh, hit. So Doc gets hit once in the chest. So Doc gets hit by the shotgun, which does three. So it empties the shotgun. So the shotgun is empty. So he'll have to reload. But Doc gets hit for three points in the chest, meaning two points go through. I think Doc goes down. Uh, Doc's arm is okay. So Doc is incapacitated. So Doc goes down. And that sucks because nobody has any medical treatment stuff. So the Marauders have all gone. Uh, so now we get staff. So staff will be able to see these. Uh, staff has his sniper rifle. Uh, sni staff will, this dude over here I think will, so uh, staff will actually take a shot of this dude over here. So uh, Doc went down. Uh, I don't know if you saw, yeah, you would have seen that I think just about. Yeah, let me just twist this a bit. If I do this, then you can just see what I'll just try and point. So staff, who is here, uh, just there, around the tree. He's going to take a pot shot of the guy that he's just witnessed uh, kill kill Doc. Uh, well, we did not kill, but incapacitate Doc. Uh, oh, we've not had this before, so the team best take these out. So staff is going to shoot at that dude. Uh, staff has... Uh, What's his range combat? D8, D10 with a plus one. So that'd be a D10, D10 because he has a sniper as his speciality. So he has got a D10, D10. Uh, he hasn't got time to do, oh, maybe he'll do. So he'll use his fast action to do a uh, aim, which means that he doesn't get a plus one because it's not like a sniper aim, but he doesn't get a minus one. So he gets zero. It's raining, so that drops it down to D10, D8. Uh, the dude did run, so that's a D8, D8. Uh, sn the sniper rifle has a rate of fire of one. Uh, guy doesn't know he's there, so he's out in the open. I think, I think that's it. Uh, gets no hits. So there's a crack. Uh, and a shot goes off, uh, and these dudes are gonna have to make a recon roll to try and see where that shot came from because of the, the rain. Uh, with that, we will say that Jane will take her slow action to uh, to wake up. Uh, so Jane will wake up, and then will take her fast action to move over behind the cover of the tree uh, so she can shoot, hold on, over here. Uh, so she can shoot, so she's woken up and then moved over behind this tree here. Uh, next, we were back to, so that was staff, and then we've got Jane. Uh, so Doc at the top, Doc is out. We need to go and see to Doc at the end of this. Uh, so we'll put Doc's one over there. So we've got the Marauders. Uh, let's make all the Marauders make a recon roll. Uh, which would be uh, 
a recon roll for them is intelligence C, so that's a D8, and a recon, so D8, D6, because of the range, so they're trying to spot where they are, D6, D6. Uh, they've spotted. So they know that this is where the camp is over. Oh no, hold on, the camp is here. Oh, well, they have been, they have been, we'll, we'll say they spot spotted. So they know where that is. Oh man, if this is, if this is them going down, this is gonna be awfully sad. Uh, this guy will come over here. Uh, He's come over from behind this tree and then he's run to there and he's gonna fire his AK-47 uh, and attempt to, uh, let's say he's gonna go for Jane, who is the visible one behind that tree there. So he's gonna attempt to shoot uh, his AK-47 at Jane. Uh, I'm gonna have to try, I've got a D6. Uh, so she's, she's, let's give him, let's give him a D6. So he's got a D6, AK-47 is four shots. Oh no, he's got to reload. He's, oh no, he's only got two shots left. So that means he can fire uh, one dice. Uh, a hit, but with no extra damage. So Jane gets hit. These, these dudes are good shots. Jane gets hit in the torso, doing two points of damage to Jane, which means one point goes through. So Jane gets one, one point of damage. Uh, let's see how her armor holds up. Her armor's fine. Okay, uh, next dude here is out in the open. Uh, he is going to run up. So he's got a shotgun and he's gonna try and dive into uh, this uh, crater. So he's gonna go uh, laying down with a crater and uh, it's within, I think it's a two hex, so that would go two. So he's a, he will also shoot at Jane because we'll say that Jane's the one that is most exposed. Uh, his shotgun, his shotgun is fine. It's the other dude whose shotgun is empty. So his shotgun is fine, so he is going to empty. He's got a rate of fire of one. So this is at Jane, this dude here. At Jane, uh, missing and emptying two light rounds into Jane's location. So the bush and the trees go firing up. Oh, Jane needs to make uh, a coolness under fire, otherwise Jane is, uh, so Jane's coolness under fire is a C, which means it's a D8, uh, but she can see, uh, she can see, uh, uh, oh, mind you, might have, might have freaked out from uh, seeing Dot go down, uh, no. So Jane getting shot at, Jane is gonna lose her action and have to keep her head down. Uh, so that's been that one. And this dude over here, uh, maybe this dude over here will make a maneuver around to here and then attempt to fire the shotgun uh, into Jane, which is still within a two. So that was, he went around there, there. So what did we say? Did we say a D6 for that? I think we did. Uh, D6 and he's gonna, oh no, he's got to reload. So he's empty, isn't he? So he now has to reload. So he's gonna come round and reload. How, with a shotgun, oh, I'm gonna give that a slow action. <laughs> not, not that I wanna keep the team alive. Bless. Uh, reload, slow action if failed. Oh, do you have to roll for it? How do you roll for it? Hold on, give a second. I'm just gonna quickly look this up. Okay. So uh, reloading in the middle of combat is a combat roll. Uh, if you succeed, it counts as a fast action. If you fail, it counts as a slow action. So either way, uh, he reloads, but let's do this just for the sake of it. So I think that's a D8, D6. I'm gonna say it's a D8, D6. Uh, so it's a foul, so it counts as a slow action. So he reloads, Whoop. he reloads, he reloads, uh, but it counts as a a slow action, so he has used up his one reload. They've all got one reload. So uh, he just shot. He's just shot Jane. Jane's head's down. Uh, he shot and missed. Uh, he's run around and reloaded. So uh, we now have. Uh, it would be staff. Staff goes next. Staff uh, behind here. Staff is going to lock another low round, and then staff is going to who hasn't really moved. Staff is going to try shooting. Uh, maybe the, the AK-47 dude is the most dangerous because the AK-47, and he's the one he keeps hitting. 
So he is going to, staff is going to attempt to shoot this dude with the AK-47. Uh, I should remember this, shouldn't I? So staff is D, D10, D8, D10, 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 D10. Range drops it down to a D8. Guy hasn't moved. I think that's it. No, nope, we're going to just say that is a, uh, a D10, D8. Uh, D10, D8, uh, and he's using his fast action to uh, aim. Two hits. Okay, so uh, two hits in the chest. So two hits for the uh, sniper rifle uh, is the, well, actually anything is the critical. So he's consumed three rounds of his 10 round mag. This, this dude here, uh, this dude here is critically hit by a sniper round in the chest, so he goes down. So what we're saying is, is if the NPCs get critically hit, they're out. They're out of action. That's Staff's turn. Uh, Jane is is uh, calling under fire. Now we have them again. Uh, basically, one dude's gone down. They've all seen one dude's gone down. Uh, I don't think they'll run away just yet. Uh, but if another one goes down, they, then whoever the survivor is will definitely run away. Okay. Uh, this guy's reloaded now, and this guy uh, already. This guy has three rounds left in his shotgun, so he is going to try and keep Jane's head down even further and open up on Jane. What did we say that was? D six, D six, and uh, one for the for the shot. Or did we say D six, D six? He consumes two. All right, let's say it's D six, D six because he hasn't moved. No. Uh, he's consumed two rounds. He's got one left in this, this shotgun and then left to reload. Uh, he's gone down anyway, uh, but he misses. And then this guy, he is going to open fire as well. Uh, he will open fire on uh, staff. So we'll give it 2d6. He's got a shotgun. He will fire one round on staff, uh, one hit. Uh, hitting staff in the torso. Uh, so shotgun does three, so that's a two. Guys, good luck, just good luck that staff slept because now, uh, so staff takes uh, two through the torso from the shotgun. Uh, to the shot, the uh, flak vest survives. Staff has one hit point left. Uh, that's the end. Oh, staff needs to make cornice under fire because uh, he got damaged. Uh, he's got a B, which is a D10, and their team is a D6. Uh, two hits, so staff is fine. That's that's the operator training for you. Uh, so staff, now we've got, so that's it. Now staff, staff will target the dude, the dude who just shot him. Uh, what, what do we have on there again? So he's doing D10, D8, D10, D8. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm gonna say it's gone. So we should have a D10, D10, because it's uh, D10, D8 and plus one for sniper. But I'm gonna drop that down by one because of the rain. And I think it's just that. I don't think, because he's, he's using his slow to, to fire. Uh, he's got three rounds, he's got, uh, oh, it's a 10 round mag. Come on, staff. Uh, two hits. <laughs> so this guy takes a bullet in the chest again. Uh, two hits with easily the critical, so he goes down. Uh, all right, this dude is now gonna panic and he's gonna leg it uh, on their next turn. He's gonna attempt to run away. Jane has recovered from the, the, her uh, being shot at and uh, his pops her head back up and she is gonna take a pot shot at this dude uh, laying here. Uh, she will use her fast action to uh, count as aiming. Uh, I think that's right. And we'll then take a shot and Jane has a D12, D10, which goes to a D12, D12. D12, D12, oh, so tempted to aim at his head again. Uh, so she'll do a D12, 
D12, the rain drops it down to a D12, D10. Uh, I don't think the cover's really gonna matter. Oh, and she's gonna open up on him because she, she was terrified keeping her head down, so she'll feel bad about that. Uh, oh, she's only got one round left in this magazine. Oh, can, can, we, can, we say, can we say that she... Oh, staff did say to make sure everything is cleaned up and make sure done. So I'm gonna say that she's actually used up that magazine. She's actually reloaded uh, because that is what staff told her to do. And if Jane is anything, she's diligent and she's good at her job. So she's gonna open up with the lot, a uh, rate of fire of six, which means she's gonna open up uh, and just try and put this dude down so as they can come and help uh, Doc. Uh, what do we have? We have three hits, four hits. So we do, so what do we have? So it's one hit is, is single damage which is, uh, so single damage on the M16 is two. So we have two, three, four, five points of damage gets done to the dude. So that's, that kills him outright because they only have five points of damage. Uh, consuming uh, six, 12, uh, 18. So 18 rounds, five points of damage in the torso. Uh, this guy gets shot, he goes down. Right. Uh, that, oh, let me write that down. Uh, what did I say, 18? Did I say 18? I did, didn't I? So she empties out 18. Uh, and that is the end of the combat. We've got uh, both uh, Staff and Jane are injured and uh, Doc is incapacitated. Uh, so we will, uh, I'll clean up and then I'll come back and then we'll see what happens. How much long was that? That's about 20, so that would be about 20 minutes, okay? I'll be back. Okay. So, we're back after the combat, I cleaned up. Uh, hopefully that works, I don't know yet, but hopefully it did. Anyway, so what we have is we have Julian is incapacitated, uh, Staff got hit, uh, and Jane got hit. Now, Jane, so everyone has taken damage, but start, but uh, D uh, Doc is incapacitated. Now, what it reads is, incapacitated, when you have suffered damage equal to or in excess of your hit capacity, you become incapacitated. You're not senseless or collapse from exhaustion, and you can only crawl and mumble through the pain. You can't perform any other actions and you can't roll for any skills. So, uh, Doc is, is uh, so he didn't take a critical wound, so he's not critically injured, but he is injured. Now, what you need to have is, the quickest way is to, to have someone treat him. So, we can have, uh, who is the best out of all, so basically, it could be either Jane or Staff Sergeant. They've both got a D8 in empathy, so they're both they're both as bad as each other at this. But we might give Jane. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, who do I want? I'm going to give Jane it uh, because it is it is her her body. So Jane is going to grab her medical kit and attempt to use it on Doc which would be a D8 plus one. So we'll give a D8, D6. Uh, hit, a hit. Awesome work. Okay, so that instantly uh, heals one hit point uh, for, for Doc. So Doc is, is, con is coherent. Uh, Doc will then, so Doc will after, they'll wait for a bit. So what was this? This was... This was the day, wasn't it? This was day, so basically Jane gets no sleep. Uh, so this being the day shift, uh, after a bit, then Doc will do, uh, will use, they're gonna have to go hit something for because they're running out of medical supplies. Uh, Doc is gonna use a medical kit on Staff Sergeant, uh, being D12, D10. D12, D10. Uh, one hit, not great. And then we'll use uh, a medical kit on Jane. No hits, okay. So it doesn't, doesn't help heal Jane, but, but everyone is treated, so that means nobody's gonna get infected and no one's gonna get any infections. Now, uh, they will then go around 
uh, the bodies. So we have, because uh, uh, Julian Doc does have an AK-47. Uh, it has one, so he will get one, one magazine uh, of AK-47 ammo. Uh, we still didn't go and get any water and Jane didn't sleep. They all are feeling a bit knackered and so they've all, con I think they've all got a knife anyway. Knife, bayonet, ah. Jane doesn't have a knife. All right, Jane will get a knife over the bodies. A nice combat knife, a lovely, lovely combat knife, uh, which is, if you if you wanna know, it's got a reliability of five, uh, two. We could start pushing rolls. Now I do know that I haven't been pushing rolls I think as of this this game, uh, I will start pushing rolls uh, for for the team, so as we can make sure that you know we'll, we'll see what happens when you push rolls. So I haven't been pushing rolls. So between these two games, the next game, I will look up pushing rolls, um, so as we know how to do that. Uh, so they've all been healed. So what we have now is we have staff sergeant is on three hit points. Uh, so oh, sorry, he has lot is on has got two hit points left, uh, consumed three. Uh, Julian has one hit point left, consumed three, and uh, uh, GI Jane uh, has a hit capacity of six. GI Jane is is by far the most physically capable of these three. Uh, so they're all are going to want to sleep again. So maybe we'll finish today and see if that gives us enough time. Uh, and we haven't gone. This, this session isn't too long. So our next one is our evening session, uh, evening uh, slot. The weather improves and so the sky's clear a bit. So we'll say it's drizzle, uh, which means that they won't be affected. So we have staff, Jane, Doc. Uh, Jane still hasn't slept. So Jane is going to sleep. Staff is going to keep watch, and uh, Doc, who's Julian, is going to rest, which means Julian gets to heal. So staff keeping watch, it's drizzle, so it won't be uh, a negative impact. So D10, D12, uh, three hits, uh, and then Jane sleeping will consume Maybe they'll eat here as well. Jane will be fully healed and Doc heals one uh, and they will all eat, which will, we haven't, I haven't distributed the rations yet, which will consume three of the rations, uh, which leaves them with five and three water, uh, which I think is the last of their water. One. Two, three is the last of their water. So that means they have they have 12 empty water bottles that they'll need to go and get uh, tomorrow morning probably because next, finally we have uh, the night shift of the 23rd of April. And then we'll start a new day next game. Uh, weather is still the same, it's a bit drizzly uh, it's not that not that that bad. So we have staff, Jane, Doc. Uh, Jane is going to keep watch. Uh, staff and Doc will rest. It's a bit boring, but they really are. They really have taken a pounding. Oh, I didn't do an encounter, did I? So this this is for the. It's because I'm rushing. Sorry. <laughs> this is for. Just slow down. Slow down, Pete, slow down. Uh, here we go. So the encounter was or is. Okay, so it's them again. Uh, I mean, it's not got a stationary on it and we have been stationary. Uh, we just fought three of them. I doubt there's more because in the original one, there wasn't that many anyway. So I am going to say that, that this is, we, we aren't gonna have we have no encounter for that one because it was stationary. Uh, now we have our knight. Uh, also, we had three hits. So staff had three hits on his watch. So I'm going to say that they don't. Even if something comes to... So there's something in the... in the We can hear 
movement uh, out uh, uh, in, in the, the bit that I had set up, uh, but they don't notice us and we don't know who it is and we don't know what it is. Uh, so now we'll have our, the night time where, oh, actually we might as well, because it is night time, we'll have a staff and doc will actually sleep, not just rest, because it is the night. And Jane is going to keep watch over the night. Jane, did Jane sleep during that? Yeah, Jane slept in the evening. Uh, and they have eaten. So Jane has her watch. And then we'll do new day start next day. Uh, D8, D8, where it's not got worse. So she gets to have a D8, D8. Come on, get a hit, Jane. Ah, good. One hit, at least one hit. Cool, cool. And for the encounter is... Bloody hell, can I not shuffle? I'm gonna do that again. For some reason, like, is this just a loaded deck? Let's try again. Uh, what is this? Everything has a price. So this is a road in the day or night. So this is a road one, so that's no encounter either. And on that, uh, my uh, Twilight 2000 watching peoples, uh, for that, I think we will we will close this. Uh, the Maraud oh, we could go back to that house because if the Maraud there might not be many of them left. Oh, I only thought that. I've got a wicked mind. Maybe we could go back to the house and see what else is in there. there might be some people left over, so that might be a bit of an attack. Anyway, we, we leave our team uh, waking up on the morning of the 24th of April. They haven't moved in a while. Uh, we will do uh, experience points next session and see what happens to the team. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I very much appreciate you watching. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's nice to know that what I'm doing is being appreciated. If uh, there's anything I can help out with or you wanna make any comments or any rules that, that I may have missed or anything that could be done better, I would love to hear uh, what you have to say. Please like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Uh, as uh, Uncle Atom says, uh, it does help the channel out. Uh, and thank you very much. I shall see you in the next game. Bye-bye.